Oh hey, what's up YouTube? 496 High Chevy coming at you. Didn't know y'all was watching me there. Uh, just doing a little working on my wife's car. Uh, power acoustic wasn't doing the job on her T3s, so uh, had to do a little shopping around, you know, and had to go find a different amp. So I found one of my buddies who bought one of my audio pipes from me and cut me a real good deal on it. So now we got the audio pipe 1501 pushing the T3s like I said. That's where a third one goes. The hole's there but didn't want to throw off the arm load or anything on that 1500. I don't think that'd be enough for three of them underpowering them. But let me tell you something. <whistles> them things are doing some massive when I say the, the difference in the power acoustic, but duh, you know, 100 watts to each sub, that power acoustic is probably doing to 600, 650 to each sub, makes a big difference. Thumbs up. I'm talking major flex out of this car. A uh, big difference in the cab, real big difference in the back. I need to, I definitely need to deaden it now, sound deaden the trunk, because, I mean, the trunk is just, it's moving. Also, got me new hit. Excuse me, got me new hairdo. Uh, Steve Mead for him. <laughs> I guess one of the guys on there, uh, instead of him coming, he couldn't say anything bad to say about me getting screwed over on my system, so he made the comment, uh, I like your dumb and dumber haircut, y you know. And, uh, you know, Lloyd off of Dumb and Dumber, if you've ever seen it, he has his bangs real low and his head cut around, so thank you. Appreciate that. Made me want to go get one. It, it, it inspired me to go get a Dumb and Dumber Lloyd haircut. Because, you know, I got a cartoon-shaped head and all this stuff that everybody says. And, uh, so, but anyways, just want to let y'all know that, um, you know, got the audio pipe back on the T3s inside my wife's Maxima. So, I got the windows down because I've been... Tuning the amp and everything. Oh, and also, guess what, everybody? Guess what? I wired up the amp. I wired up the subs. Oh, my God, I did my own work. I just had to throw it out there for the haters uh, that say that I can't do anything. Um, I can. It's that when I don't have enough time on my hands, it's kind of hard to do certain things. But stay tuned for my build and um share this video this is what I'm gonna do if you really want to see this car in action flexing all up in here really good and flexing this trunk really good share this video on your YouTube and share this video on your Facebook and let's see I don't know I don't know how many views I want to get it up to, but let's just, sh just share this video. Share my channel. Share me. Give me some more subscribers, and I will show y'all a really nice sounding, my wife's really nice sounding Maxima. Now that this amp is in here, it's not underpowered no more. It's doing what it should have been doing from the get-go. So do that, and stay tuned for the next video. 496 High Chevy, signing out.